Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Taylor and today's video is just going to be some back to school prep. So I do not need to do any school supply shopping. Uh, I ordered Jensen school supplies through his school. So that's taken care of. I, ho I however will be going to probably just Walmart and picking up some like crayons, markers, colored pencils, um, like construction paper, kind of like more craft supplies just to replenish and get some new fresh things. So hopefully I can add that into this video. If not, then I don't. Um, but I have done a ton of back to school clothes shopping. Um, what else? I had to order, you know, backpacks and stuff like that. So I figured I would just share with you the things that I need to get done for at least Jensen to get back to school because he goes back, um, what is it? He goes back August 18th and then the other two boys don't go back until after Labor Day. So I have some time to get the younger two taken care of and situated plus I don't even know what they will need for school it's usually like um, wipes uh, Clorox wipes Kleenex stuff like that so yeah so if you are interested in seeing how I prep for back to school then just keep watching hi guys so in part of this back to school prep, I am doing a couple of vinyl labels. So not all of them are for back to school. I'm actually doing kind of like a big batch of ones that I have needed to get done. I will show you the ones that have to do with back to school. So let me flip the camera around. I'll show you, um, I guess, kind of what I do. Okay, so this is just on my uh, iPad. And so you can see that I do, this is this is the only one for back to school, is for Rowan, and then I have a couple other ones that I, I've needed to do for a while. Um, yeah, I just do it on my iPad using the Cricut Design Space. Um, and then I will show you, oh, I've already done one for Jensen's water bottle. And then I will show you the tubs that I use for all of the like school paperwork and stuff like that that I want to keep. I use and I left this on here so I could show you because I couldn't remember but I got these from the container store their letter size um, there's probably let's see if it'll focus there is the hopefully item number if you want to search for it I'm sure they still have them um, yeah, I'm not sure of the price because I bought these like 
two or three years ago. Um, so I'm just gonna put uh, Rowan's name on there and then I will show you in a second. have totally put or cleaned I should have cleaned it off with an alcohol wipe I usually do do that but I think I just was in a hurry and forgot so what I do is let me grab one of the other boys and I'll show you what it ends up looking like okay so here's Jensen's and I probably don't have it set up the way I actually really want it because I don't have enough labels but so I have like a preschool label and then I have school pictures, awards, report cards, and then here's his kindergarten folder. So I just use regular letter size file folders and keep just like the special things that he does. Um, most of it is like artwork or crafts, but there are some like actual schoolwork in there too just things that I'm really proud of him for um like this past year you know he learned to write words and he's reading very well and so that's you know that's really special so I have a couple of things in there from kindergarten and then awards that he's gotten um yeah like student of the month and Let's see, that's a Smarties Award for being smart in all subject areas. Um, yeah, so that's what I do for all the boys. So I'm going to get Rowan set up and he will be good to go for the school year. Okay, and then here is Jensen's new water bottle. So I'm just going to put on the little decal that I made for him. All right, all done with that. So I'm just going to kind of go over the things that I have right now for back to school. So obviously there's a couple of shoes for Jensen. Honestly, I think most of this is for Jensen because he's the one that like needs all the new stuff. Some headphones, his new lunch bag, the water bottle, I just picked up these from a thrift store today, these two pairs of pants and this hoodie. And then there's, um, oh, they're back to school. Their first day of school shirts are under there somewhere. And then this huge pile of clothes that I need to take all the tags off and get washed. Um, so yeah, we're making some progress here. I just got the baskets that I use for, um, their back to school baskets or really anything if I need to use them for they're not I don't just have them just for back to school yeah so we're getting there um so let's see I'm gonna go get a couple of more um like crayons and markers colored pencils stuff like that I did or actually Mickey he went and got some glue sticks and some glue for me. I just kind of like to restock at home whenever it's back to school time. You know, have fresh pencils, crayons, markers, stuff like that just because it's out and so it makes me think like, oh, we should, you know, replenish, get some new stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that and then I also need, let me turn the camera around. And then I also need to I look tired. I took a nap today and I look like it. Um, I need to go pick up a gift card for his teacher. I got back her teacher favorite list. And so for the first day of school, I usually do a gift card to one of their favorite restaurants. So I will either do 
she likes hideaway or there's this barbecue place that she likes so i need to go get that and maybe something extra that she needs she also sent her amazon wish list um but some of the stuff like you can get like at walmart so i might i might do that um but yeah, that's kind of what I like to do for back to school. Um, the reason I do a gift card for a restaurant the first day is I kind of like put in the little card like dinner's on me tonight. Like hope you had a really good first day and just so they don't have to worry about it, you know. Um, you know, after like, you know, the first day craziness and all of that, it's I think. I feel like it would be nice to this looks really dirty I don't know if that made a difference or not it was just really dusty um what was I saying oh I feel like it would be nice to know that dinner was already taken care of and you just had to go pick it up or have it delivered or whatever so I think she has three kids yeah, I feel like she might appreciate that. <laughs> I would have shown, you know, shopping for school supplies and everything that Jensen needed for this year, but his school offers a, like you can order the school supplies for the next year. Um, and I've, I've done that the past two years, but actually no, did I do that? No, I've done it all three years. I did it for pre-K, kindergarten, and this year. Um, but I'm not gonna do that next year because this past year I know it was $70 for his supplies. And I, you guys know that, well you might know that I like to coupon. Um, I do a lot of my couponing hauls over on TikTok so I will um, put that on the screen here but it's always linked down below if you ever wanna go check out my couponing hauls. Um, but I am fairly certain that I would be able to get all of his school supplies for way less than $70. It just seems ridiculous to me. And also like he had stuff left over from last year. He had like, I don't know, five or six folders that were never used. I'm pretty sure he probably could have used them this year. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that next year. Uh, it's, it's very conven convenient. So I do like that they offer it, but that just seems like way, I don't know, maybe it's not. I, I haven't bought school supplies in a really long time. So maybe it's not that expensive. Um, but I know, like like Lysol wipes and Kleenex, stuff like that. Yeah, I can basically get that for free. So um, I'm not going to order next year. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are having a great day and hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday with a brand new video.